remember a girl I would sneak into her parents' house I could stay for hours And we looked into each other's eyes Hey, I thought I was Romeo I was looking for my Juliet Those days made me who I am When we were younger We were never running out of time As long as we had each other This is weird too. This is seen as weed in Uganda, like what you weed out of your plants. And these people sell it as food. It's called Ehunika in my local language. These people eat this. I hope it's not what I hate for lunch. I don't mind. Oh my god. Hi, okay, so I've officially been in. Nairobi, Kenya for 19 hours Kenya, Nairobi specifically and my first impression of Kenya, Nairobi it is lovely I honestly can't okay from the first hours that I've been here I can see myself living here peacefully it's lovely that people are nice everyone is just nice I don't know if it's just this part of Kenya Oh, the entire country okay they say ugandans are very very social compared to other countries but i i feel like these guys are really really social and lovely and friendly from the experience i've had for the last few hours and i've been to mombasa which is also still in kenya before in 2019 and i got the same experience the people were yeah, very lovely uh i've got I've not had any bad experience so far and I've been uh, walking through uh, this part of town for the last few hours. I really worked my legs hard from walking too much and talking to people and I did not film everything but I've really had a good time and I'll be sharing what I filmed with you. So uh, I don't know how they can tell but they a lot of people could recognize that i'm not kenyan i don't know how they recognize because i'm as black as they are and they could i had not spoken to them just so you don't say that it's from the accent it's not the accent because they could just like approach me and like just want to to help and ask if i need any kind of help and they are just lovely and nice and just just kind just being kind uh, a few of them tried to speak to me in Kiswahili, but as soon as i let them know that i didn't understand they were still lovely and cooperative and just willing to help so my first impression of kenya is that it is a lovely place with lovely people beautiful country i can't can't wait to see more of this country in the next few days that I'm here, I'm definitely excited. Okay, I'm about to cross the road now. I don't know if I'm not on the wrong street, but I hope I'm not. So, uh, that has been my experience for the day. And then, the other thing is that people love their country. As soon as they learn that you are, you are not from here, they tell you nice things that you need to see before you leave. Uh, they are patriotic, like they say nice things that not uh, that makes you want to go and see them. I don't know what that is in my mouth. I'm trying to remove it. Which is really nice. Started from like from yesterday, my Uber driver from the airport he was he was really really nice. Yeah, I felt really safe and comfortable. And I'm feeling safe around everyone here. It feels good feels like I'm home <laughs> so I see myself living here but I'm not moving here but it's a lovely place to be food wise their food is really affordable compared to Kampala I think cost of living here is I don't know about housing but I think food wise their food is really 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 affordable I'm going to get to show you everything that I've got here 
okay when i get home i think it is affordable compared to kampala uganda and then uh their avocado they don't have avocado they have avocado but it is small it is smaller in size compared to Uganda. Ugandan avocado is uh, is really large, and here it is small and expensive. But everything else is affordable, really, really affordable compared to Kampala. Mm, compared to where I live in Kampala, Uganda. Oh, okay. I've had a long day, but I don't regret. I am so tired. My my legs are hurting. But I am so happy. I've had a good day talking to many people uh, and learning about this country. And tomorrow is another day that I get to experience so many other things in Nairobi, Kenya. Okay, I am here. This is where I live. Let me show you. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, this is where I'm living. Okay, bye. Um, no, let me get home and then I show you what I've got and I tell you how much I got it at. Hi, so we're back home. I want to show you everything I got uh, from the supermarket. This is spinach. Uh, okay. Spinach, bread, these are buns. I call them buns in Uganda. Then I got some milk. I got tomatoes. I want to tell you a sort of everything after to show you how happy I am with the prices in Kenya. Got some drinking water. Got some juice. Got some, what is this? Sugar, got some curry powder, got some chocolate. Hmm. My favorite. Hmm. Yum. Okay, we don't have some. Sorry, the camera sound just went mute suddenly, but these are eggs, six eggs. You got me six eggs, and then this chewing gum, PK or Obit, whatever you call it. And then this is beef, meat, meat, beef. I don't know what else I was saying there, but that's meat. And then this is rice. Yeah, if you're enjoying the video so far, kind of like it, it will mean so much to me. That all, no, we have bread as well. I love bread, I think I'm addicted. I can't go a day without eating bread, so everywhere I go, I buy bread. <laughs> yeah, so the total cost of everything is what I'm looking at right now. And the total cost was 1,180 Kenyan shillings. 1,180 Kenyan shillings. That's equivalent to 31,000 Uganda shillings. Of everything that I got, imagine, of all of this. If I was in Uganda, this could cost around 40, between 40 to 50,000 Uganda shillings. So... I'm very very impressed so this is my impression of Kenya so far I'll let you know if anything changes please subscribe and keep watching the more videos of me in Kenya that are coming up in the next few days thank you so much for watching bye when we were younger we were never running out of time as long as we had each other